Um, the basic things that I have, um, and I must admit I've got rid of quite a lot of stuff lately, but um, the basic things that I use, a cooling tray, you must have one if you're doing cakes or buns, cooling tray is an absolute must. I think this was only a couple of pound, and um, I've actually got another one as well, uh, sometimes you can't fit everything on if you're baking for Christmas or something like that. Um, the actual tins that you're going to use, I've had these for I don't know how long. Loose bottomed, um, these are 8 inch uh, Victoria sponge tins, they come in handy for all sorts, pineapple upside down cake, loads of things. Those two, as I've had them for absolute years, you can buy them in the power shop, you can now buy the rubbery ones, um, which I must admit I don't like, but um, probably I'm just a bit old fashioned, but um, I've had these a long time, so again it's good to invest in decent things. Um, I've just done a recipe and you might have seen it. Uh, this is, uh, well it says it's a one pound loaf tin, but I think it's a two pound lo loaf tin. I've had these a long time, I've had it for ages, you can see it's well used. If your baking pans have gone virtually black, you know that um, you go to somebody's house and they're, uh, all their baking pans are all sort of black and whatever, you know they get well used. If you go there and they're all sort of sparkly and brand new, they don't use them that often. This is a little tin that I bought recently from Asda. It was uh, on offer at £2. This was supposed to be a £2 loaf tin. It's actually a £3 loaf tin because I made the cake in it and it only came up about that much because it's too big. But it, when I make bread, this is what I'll use. So um, And it's really, really thick. So look for offers. Asda's a great place to go for tins. Honestly, Poundland is not. They're cheap and they're a bit nasty and everything sticks. So, again, invest. I've got an, how I say, an yeah, 8 inch cake tin, quite a deep one. This again's got a loose bottom. Also, the ring ones that you know, the, um, they've got a clasp on the front and they sort of release. They're a good one. This one was about £10. Um, but this one is, doesn't look black, but it is well used. It's non-stick, but I always line them anyway with greaseproof paper. This is what I mean by black. This was my grandma's. I'm 64. And so you can see this has stood the test of time. I love this because it's fluted. I love it because it's well used. And I'm not ashamed to show it because uh, I've got two of these and I've got two with like straight bottom ones. That are a lot newer, a lot newer over a couple of sort of only two years ago, and they stick like I don't know what. Obviously, if you're making um, buns, you're going to have um, a liner, a bun liner in. But I make um, ground rice and mince pies and things like that, and I don't put a liner in. And these never, never stick. Unless I put too much mince meat and it's gone all over, but they never stick. Obviously, grease. It's black and I don't even know, it might have been black when it was bought, it was bought by my grandma and I think from what I remember it was bought when she got married so we're talking about early 1900s, probably before that. This is a baking tray, I've had baking trays which I still got from Pound Shop, they're okay just to do some chicken, frozen chicken bits, you know like dinosaurs and things for the kids some shiny hearts and things things like that this is a good one this um i've had about 15 years it's getting really well worn but i don't mind that because once it's got worn they stop sticking they're a bit like a wok get a wok and turn it black i actually did burn salt into this when i first got it um and that does help to stop them sticking it's what you do with a wok so those are my baking tins those are, I would say those are pretty much your essentials to, to have. Um, baking bowls. This is a Pyrex one. I've had, I have no long, I have no idea. I've had it that long. I'm trying to see what it says on the bottom. Made in England. It's got some kind of mark on it. But it is a Pyrex one. Um, it's, it's, it's my staple, it's one I use all the time and um, I love this dish, it's a proper size, it's great for, for anything. 
I've also got some stainless steel ones. That's um, these are great for whisking up egg whites because as long as they're not greasy, obviously. Um, and I just really like. Oh, there is there is actually two there that are stuck together. I really do like um, stainless steel. It always seems quite hygienic. Um, I also have a funnel. This um, I think was about 50p from Morrison's. Um, it's got an edge where you can pour. Um, it's just a small one. I do have a bigger one, but you know, you a funnel is a funnel. Um, some recipes you do need a funnel. These I absolutely love. I got these from Morrison's about two or three months ago. They're microwave pans. And you get two, this pack of two for a pound. I think it was a pound, might be 50p. Um, yeah, 50p each, so it was a pound. And um, I didn't want to start sort of doing uh, beans and stuff in because they'd, get, they'd actually just turn orange and people do spaghetti in them or soup or things like that. I basically use these just for baking. Me and Esme, when she's here, we make um, chocolate spoons, which she loves doing. And I will do them with you one day. And this is what I melt the chocolate in. And I just really like them. Um, if I'm melting lots of chocolate, I would do it over the stove with water. But if it's just a bit and it's just me and Esme doing things, I use this. But I really, really do like that. I actually did some sweet corn in the other day and um, just popped them in the microwave. And it took about four minutes. It was, they were brilliant. So this is my new find. Couple more dishes. These are just plastic ones. These have got um, they've got like a rubber on the bottom to stop them slipping about. They've got a bit of a handle, and they've got a pouring thing. I've had these. Oh God, I must have had these about I don't know 15 years. Um, these get used for all sorts of things, and um, they get they're great in the microwave. And um, I would invest in decent bowls and baking tins. It's well worth it. And then it comes to measuring. I have different types of measuring. The first two are both. This is a Pyrex one. Measuring jug and it's in litres, it's in pints, it's in millilitres and it's in like quarter pint, half pint, everything. And um, the thing I love about Pyrex is this doesn't wash off. Um, I don't know how they do it, bake it on, I don't know, but it, you know, you can quite often get these and especially on the plastic ones where this just disappears after a while and it's just a jug then, it's not a measuring jug, but this one, this is my staple and I've just bought this one, I think again from Morrison's, um, I'm hoping this stays, this is, is not Pyrex but it's very much like a Pyrex one, it's a bigger one, it's a litre, 36 ounces is sad and it's broken down all the way down from 100 mil to 100 mil or 4 ounces, 6 ounces, 8 ounces, half a pint and um, this gets used often. I've also got some cheaper ones. This one was a couple of pounds I think from Morrison's. Can you see? I'm losing all this because it gets washed all the time. I like this because it's got a non-slip bottom. Um, I'm still sort of alright to use it but it's it's all disappearing so maybe time to buy a new one but for a couple of pound um, and then usually they end up in the garden for watering or whatever and this one is I think these were from Asden I think I've got two for a pound um, they have got all the measures on but you can't see it and um, these are not going to wear off because they're sort of like raised but unless you've got something quite dark in there, you can't see it, or I can't. So, um, so nothing, oh, there is on the other side, it's in ounces, fluid ounces and millilitres. But um, they, they're just a measuring jug, but go with, buy the cheaper ones, but go with the Pyrex ones because um, you use these all the time. This one was probably about £8, but eight pound well, well spent because I've had that for a long long time so next thing is we're going to go on to the machinery